Surface Comb is a very useful tool in Ornatrix which allows styling and creation of hair in just a couple of mouse drags. To access the Surface Comb tool, I first will go into my Ornatrix toolbar and then I will go to the Tools menu and here you will find a Sync Editor button. If I select my groom here and I press the Sync Editor button, I will enter the Sync Creation mode. Sinks in Surface Comb are just vectors on top of a surface which direct the orientation and the length of hair strands as well as some other properties. So if I just click and drag on top of my surface, you can see that a new sink is created and aligned with the surface normal and the sink directs the hairs in the way towards where I am pointing my mouse. I'm just gonna rotate the viewport and I'm gonna add another sink and maybe I will rotate it some other way and the third sink will rotate it yet another way. So you can see that the hairs between the sinks will be shaped in a way that is averaged between the sinks on the surface. If I hover on top of a sink and click, I will select the sink that is currently under my mouse and when I do this, the properties specific to the sink will appear. Some of the changes you can set for the sink are the sink type, you can change it to repel or attract, or you can just set it to direct, in which case you will use the initial vector. You can also turn on or off the mirror sinks, which will create another sink on the other end of the surface, depending on the mirror axis which you have specified. So I'm going to set this back to none. When I create the sinks, a new surface comb operator is added on top of my stack. If an operator already exists, it will be selected, but if it doesn't exist, a new one will be added. Once this operator is added, on the right hand side we can see the properties of this operator. Here you control the behavior of this operator, for example I can change this curve to control how close to the surface the hairs will be pulled along the strand length. So I can make them further apart or closer to the surface, both at the tip and at the root of each strand. I can also do this on a per sink basis, so if I select a sink you can see that the slope curve is replicated on the left hand side and this slope curve is specific to the sink that I have selected. So if I adjust its properties, only the current sink will be affected by this and the hairs will be updated accordingly. I can also control some other properties, for example I can increase the chaos which will add some randomness to the shape of the hairs or I can also specify that I want to control the strand length with the length of my sinks by using the effect whole strand option. And now I'm going to exit the sync editor mode. When I'm inside the sync editor mode I can only create new sinks or I can select the sinks that I have created to adjust their properties. However, if I exit this mode and if I have my surface comb operator still selected, I can actually select the sinks and I can move them on top of the surface anywhere I want, but I can also select the tips of the sinks and I can adjust the direction of those tips by just moving the transform gizmo over here. Since I checked this affect whole strand option, I control the length of my hairs by increasing or decreasing the sink vector. So I can really make the strands shorter by making the sinks super short or I can make them much longer like this. The same way I can select any other sync and apply the changes to it as well. If at any given point I want to change the properties of a specific sync or if I want to add more syncs to my hair, all I have to do is re-enter the sync editor mode and now I can draw more syncs. So this is the gist of the surface comb operator, but I hope it already demonstrates how useful it can be to groom your hair.